Hi Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card belongs to my thank you series which I'm doing from uh, now to the after Christmas I think the last one is. Um, as I need a lot of Christmas thank you cards. To make this card I used the stamp set Bloom and Grow and I'm going to be using that flower image that thank you from the bottom of my heart and them little um, that little pattern there I don't know what they're called so that's what I'm going to be using on this from the cards I've got a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eight folded in half and let's burnish it I have two pieces of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, one for the top and one for the inside. And I have a piece of card at five and five eighths by an inch. And I used the edge dies, this one, and used the scalloped edge to make a nice scalloped edge on here which the ribbon will be placed on and then it will sit on the side there okay so first of all we need to stamp this flower so the ink will dry and I'm going to stamp that in memento black ink oh I'll turn my light down Ink was sitting on midday light. Right. Ink it all up and place it down. I have already coloured and cut one of these out, but for the sake of the camera, I shall do one. Right, let's move these out of the way. To colour this in, I used, what did I use? Lovely lipstick, light, Rococo Rose light, and Flirty Flamingo light. For the leaves, I used Old Olive. So we'll start with the leaves and colour them in, all blank, no shading, nothing like that. In fact, use the other end. Nothing will go to waste on this because it will just go in my uh, box that I have. And that I'll use maybe one day. Mind you, I do take my box to paper craft and we have uh, three or four ladies who've never stamped before who have now joined us. And they're loving it. One of them's 83 years old. And she was so thrilled when she made a card last week. She made three cards last week. 
and she says she's coming again so which is good lovely lipstick I'm going to colour in the middle one in that We've gone over the middle of that. Never mind, I'll go over that. Go over it with yellow anyway. Right, Rocco Rose on the next one. side as well. And then pink. Oh, flirty, flirty flamingo on this side. The ends. And then we take so saffron and we'll just colour in the middle. And that is our flower, that's the way we coloured that in. And I have it cut out here already. So I'll put that to one side. And we'll use this one. Right then. With the front and our scalloped edge piece, we are going to place the ribbon on it. So just put a bit of tape runner on there to Hold the ribbon on. Oh, this ribbon is a Stampin' Up! ribbon. I only had a bit of it. And I got it off Katie, so I don't know where it, um, what set or if they still sell it now. I'm not sure. So I am going to glue this down. But where I put the glue, I'm only putting it on three sides. I'm not putting it on the scallop side. Where they come from? 
Right, I'm going to place this to the left of my card. And this fleece will slide under like that. And then we'll stamp. Um, oh, sentiment. Thanks from the bottom of my heart. And that will get stamped. Just. Hmm, not very straight and it wiggled. That's all right. We will stamp that on there. Punch that out. Let's get a punch. We want uh, this will do. Use the label punch. Punch that out. And we can stick that like that there. Once we stick that on there. Just like that. So we're going to glue this down. And just slide it under there a bit. I've got to change the white, but I've already stuck the ribbon down. But it's good if you see how I fix my mistakes. Just glue in the inside, pop that down. As I said before, I'm not putting any sentiments on the inside because I want to write messages. So now this I am going to pop, she says, and she's glued it down. Um, under there I'm going to cut that bubble off yeah like that but what I am going to do is with my lovely lipstick I need this out anyway. I'm going to dip the edge. I 
and then when it lays down you'll be able to see a little bit of red or lipstick on each side so we'll keep that there let's put a little bit of my glue get rid of the pens grab a scrap of paper and with them little flowery there's a word for them but I can't remember what it's called blossom I am going to do them a little bit different from the other card because I felt they were too dark oh yeah I like that better so all I did was I stamped ink, stamped off twice and then stamped that. I didn't say it as I was doing it which was wrong. Sorry. Just got carried away and did it. Yes I like that. Right now we'll glue. Just going to glue it flat because it's got to go under the flowers I also have a little bit of ribbon left over which we're going to tie in a knot. Make it look like a fake. Just a fake bow. And all that leaves us to do on here is add some gems. I only added three. Um, she says, where are they? at the box. This no, that's gold. Ah, found them. I haven't got many of these left here. I need to get a new strip out. Right, I'll put one there and one either side of it. Hey, my next door neighbour, Hoovering. Right. And there we have it. Another lovely thank you card. I definitely like this faded better than the first colour. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. Uh, if you hit the bell button, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.